This is a little piece you guys called, uh, well, maybe I won't even tell you, maybe some of you have guessed this, but it's composed by one of my favorite composers, Hoagy Carmichael, and uh, he was one of the best composers that, well, I won't say too much about him, but he's, uh, he did a piece called Skylark also, um, but I'll tell you, this is called Stardust. Tell the story behind it, like you always told about your dad. Well, I, I, I was stationed at the Military Academy Band at West Point, and in the last concert we did, they featured me, and I played Stardust with a big band. It was a big band arrangement. And I dedicated the song to three different people, or people groups. <clears throat> One was to the audience that had been so faithful to always come to Trophy Point, which was three to 10,000 people that would show up wow. on this massive hill. And we were playing an amphitheater with the Hudson River and mm. Breakneck Ridge and Storm King Mountain behind us. It was gorgeous. And <clears throat> so I dedicated it to our audience, to the band, who I always felt like were all my teachers corporately and uh, because there's something we learn from each other all the time. <clears throat> Wonderful players. And then my dad, uh, Chris's grandfather, Becky's first uh, band director, <laughs> which is how we met. Uh, Becky introduced, I mean, Dad introduced me to Becky and said, we have to take her home. She's been working in the band library all afternoon. <laughs> I looked at her and I said, yeah, let's take her home. <laughs> I might like to take her home forever. Like that. So I got that. Anyway, that's a little windy, but so. Um, but also the most recorded pop song of the last century. Oh, sorry. Mostly in the 20s and 30s, but it's more Billboard hits than any other person, but it's old. But did he compose this, like 1915 or something? Yeah, in the early 20s. So it was back a like, ways. And it was a little bit more stilted, kind of Lawrence Welkish, yeah. when it was first done. Uh -huh. So it's had a number of aberrations, or shall we say, joyful modifications. <laughs> but anyway, hopefully this will be something. The most famous being Nat King Cole, the great mm. late Nat King Cole, <clears throat> much late Nat King Cole. That's probably true. Uh, Alright, let me just... Uh, okay. uh, yeah. Ready? Uh -huh. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
So fun to do it. And it does such a nice job. So. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yeah.